Packers kick it back to the stance. Larry Taylor brought down at the 37. Here's our sack tally brought to you by Purelater. Tackling hunger across Canada. Check. This is the quarterback's sack total this season. Calgary with 43. Tied with set for Winnipeg for second place. Uh, Calgary Stampeders with two sacks in this ball game. Demonte Bolden and Keon Raymond chipping in in that regard. Saskatchewan Rough Riders keeping a real close eye in that pass protection on Charleston Hughes. Another key stat, zero turnovers for the Calgary Stampeders. Not giving away the ball. Tate throws and overthrows his intended target, Mark Wayne McDaniel. Stampeders that time lining up. Aubie Khan in as a tight end, trying to widen the corner a little bit of the pass rush and get Drew Tate a little bit more time. fourth quarter but 10 point game right now riders looking for a stop here of course a two and out tate retreats into the pocket now it closes heads outside will run out of bounds it's knocked down diamond ferry bringing him down the crowd the stampeder fans wanting a penalty they're not getting one that's the kind of play that if it happens on the other side of the field near the stampeder bench might have ignited a brawl, but fortunately for Diamond Ferry, it's, he was surrounded by his own teammates in that situation. So the rider defense does what it has to do, force a two and out. And two and out, Stampeders, but again, they have the lead here. Rob Maver from his 30, Austin Dressler. Wynn takes that one back to the 20, makes one miss, and then goes backwards. Well, TSN is the home of NFL Sunday Night Football. Week 10, dream matchup. Two seven and ones. Houston Texans and the Chicago Bears. Live coverage gets underway tonight. 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific on TSN and TSN Radio. Quite a day for football. Eastern semifinal earlier today. Toronto takes out the Edmonton Eskimos. They'll meet Montreal next week in the Eastern final. And even Gator the Gopher has uh, chipped in on November. A mustache going on there. Makes the trip. Or at least a reasonable facsimile of this. Gator the Gopher. Saskatchewan Rough Riders. First down from their 24-yard line. Haven't had much offense here in this second half. Really, we're rallying late second quarter, but then that blocked point after, and then the subsequent field goal, and Darian Durant has been unable to recreate any of that magic. Those sustained drives that he had in the second quarter. Yeah, now it goes against the win now, Dwayne. Yeah, there's no question, Rod. If you were to label a turning point in this football game, no question it would be that blocked extra point that turned into a two-point convert for Calgary. Second and four. Four-man rush. Durant's got a man. And should have had the football. Chris Getzlaff can't believe it. Had it right in his hands and dropped it. And for as good as Chris Getzlaff has become a West Division All-Star this season, it's the one knock on him as he occasionally has the drops. He's in that one, perfectly thrown ball from Darian Durant. Getzlaff just lost focus on that one. Third two and out. In this half, for the Riders, Larry Taylor brought down. They've been all over number two, but right now the Riders are 10 points down to the Stampeders. So 
Over 12 minutes to go. Fourth quarter, Drew Tate. Impressive in the second half. Giving his team a 10-point advantage. Two weeks away from the Great Cup game, a week away from the East and West Finals. John Cornish. Plows for a few yards. Five yards for Cornish. We talked with Cornish yesterday, and he made that point you made. You know, if they want to stack the box, and if there is that supposed guarantee out there, keep Cornish under 100 yards, you'll have success. Cornish has also had his own statement. Stop me, but how are you going to stop everybody else? Yeah, a pretty dangerous collection, particularly with the emergence in recent weeks of Mo Price as a big-time, big play guy. Cornish again spins. John Cornish shows you why right there. At times, he has been unstoppable this season. What a season for Cornish. Most outstanding player candidate in the West. Most outstanding Canadian candidate. And you see how important John Cornish is to this team. His production in the 12 wins, he averages over 100 yards a game. Six Calgary losses this season, averaging just about 40 yards in each of those. And guess what he has today? Two yards off of 100. Fakes the shovel. Robbie Bryant can't gather it in. Drew Tate. Fake there at the line. Well, they isolated exactly the guy they're trying to isolate on that play, and that's the defensive end, Odell Willis. Willis, it becomes a reverse option play where your decision is based on what he does. Willis here thinks that the toss is coming to Larry Taylor, completely turns his back on Drew Tate, the quarterback in the backfield, just lets him throw the football. Well, Drew Tate had a very good grip on that football. That can be a dangerous play sometimes. And Icy conditions, but it's not obviously that bad. There's a quick shot. Robbie Bryant's fumbled in Saskatchewan, has it. <laughs> Complete pass. Bryant was looking for more. And right there, Craig Butler forced the fumble. The Riders have it. Butler out of Western, the human missile. First Calgary turnover. Yeah, Craig Butler as a guy who has always had a nose for the football. Here, Robbie Bryant is trying to reach for that first down marker. Doesn't see Craig Butler coming. Number 28 puts his hat right on the ball, pops it loose. Mike McCullough there to recover. Durant comes out slinging here. Scott McHenry far side. Well, the Saskatchewan Rough Riders needed a spark here in the second half. They've been laying dormant offensively, have not scored any points in the third and fourth quarters so far. Will this turnover bring some points? John Huffnagel talked about it yesterday. In Calgary's playoff failures in recent years against Saskatchewan, it's been all about turnovers at the wrong time. Durant, six receivers set. Weston Dressler, and to the 30, to the 20, down to the 10. Huge play for the Rough Riders. Well, you wondered if that play would, on the defense was going to spark Saskatchewan, and it sure did. Darian Durant leans in, throws a strike. Eric Fraser, the free safety, gambles on it with no help behind him. Weston Dressler is going to come from the left side of your screen. The free safety, Fraser, deep in the middle of the field. He tries to jump this ball as Dressler tries to go to the middle. Gets caught in no man's land. He misses. There's nobody behind him, and it turns into a big, big play. His first catch of the second half, 58 yards. Inside the 10. Riders sniff the end zone now. Durant. And punt! Touchdown, Craig Carr! First catch of the ball game is in the end zone. And 
a costly, costly turnover for the Calgary Stampeders. Here come the Rough Riders. Uh, somewhere back around mid-season, Saskatchewan general manager Brendan Taman asked his head coach Corey Chamberlain, what do you need? He said, I need a big receiver. He goes out and gets six foot six inch Greg Carr. And that's exactly why he's got the big body and uses it there to shield the ball away from the defender. Big touchdown there for the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. Sandro DeAngelis, this time it's through. And now, with eight and a half to go, we've got a three-point game in the Western semifinal. Interesting game. The hardest hit. Taken by our audio person, Ricky Gale, down there, who got some good audio. And she takes the hardest hit and still comes up. The sound. Award winner. Larry Taylor picks his way out to the 35 yard line. And so, well, we talked about it at the top, Dwayne. The drama between these two teams, not to be forgotten, of course, in the three meetings. Each game decided in the final three minutes. One of those games also went to overtime. Calgary won the season series two to one. Keep in mind, though. The Stamps have not beaten Saskatchewan in the playoffs since 1994. Yeah, they've dominated them in the regular season in terms of the, the one loss record, but the playoffs, a completely different story. All riders. Lots of time here, over eight minutes to go. Yeah. Joe Lobendon, unbelievable tackle. Joe Lobendon, the former bomber. Knee problems last year, came to Calgary, was released by the Stampeders found a home in Saskatchewan. And he has become, in half a season, absolutely the heart and soul of this Rough Rider defense. The guy ar arrives at midseason, they talked all year about how much they missed this guy in Winnipeg, his leadership. You look, he's here for half a season. He's the guy out there as one of the captains at the coin toss before this West semifinal. What a lick. Second and 11. Crowd right into this. And what a catch here. This time, Robbie Bryant hangs on. And how much is that fumble by Bryant going to loom in the rest of this game? Turnover, seven points off turnovers. The first turnover by the Stampeders, so Bryant makes amends there, hangs on. Well, coaches frequently talk midst of a, a football game in which you may have upwards of 150 plays often a game is decided by five big plays we talked about that missed extra point by Saskatchewan in the first half of this game how significant that was now you talk about the fumble by Romby Bryant as one of those plays first down again 10 regular season games Calgary has owned the Riders the last five playoff games not so much all Rough Riders clock ticks down just over seven minutes stamps on the move now Taint over the top Nick Lewis is sprung Lewis will race to the end zone touchdown but there is a flag back at midfield, and this could be coming back. There is a flag down, there are Stampeders down, and it looks like there is no touchdown. 61 yards to Nick Lewis, who has been silent for a while. He had a collision as well back of the 53-yard line. This was an absolutely monstrous collision. Drew Tate is Offensive going off here. Offensive pass Calgary, number 16. 10-yard penalty, remains first down. And Drew Tate absolutely went ballistic. And this interference could not have been more accidental. A collision in the middle of the field. Markway McDaniel is going to come from the bottom of your screen. He's running a crossing route going up on the screen. Teron Brackenridge coming the other way trying to follow Nick Lewis. These guys, with their heads turned, they're not looking at each other. 
ran into each other full tilt. And there you see Drew Tate's reaction to the penalty call. Mark Wayne McDaniel just now getting back to his feet on the field. Accidental or not, it's still impeded that ta potential tackler. And so Nick Lewis had daylight, but that comes back. Now you talked about big plays. How about this one? My goodness. Touchdown taken away. It leaves Nick Lewis still looking for his first career touchdown catch here in his ninth playoff game. was in the backfield on the blitz and James Patrick is hurt they're immediately calling to the sideline here John Cornish was the man stepping up to take James Patrick but went for a collision with his shoulder lost him to the inside kind of lunged at him and allows Patrick to fall right in and make the play on the quarterback, Drew Tate. He got him in the head there. It sure the did. Head. head also hit the turf. Yes, it did. Then he was also holding his side. And yet he still ran off the field. Big stop there. Two sacks now for the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. Drew Tate. Going the distance here, getting the start in this playoff game. Second down, 21 yards to go for the Stampeders. Need to get to the Saskatchewan 50. Tate, pump fake. There he goes again, and over the middle, catch is made by Mo Price, but will be five yards short of a first down. Macho Harris right there to make the stop despite the acrobatic catch by Mo Price. Now Saskatchewan will get it back again. Keep in mind, as the clock winds down here. Saskatchewan also going against the wind, and the wind appears to be picking up here in this fourth quarter. A deep kick from Rob Maver. The CFL on TSN is brought to you by Wendy's new bacon portobello mushroom melt. Wendy's, now that's better. And by Rona, proud partner of the Canadian Football League and its eight teams. What do you expect? Playoff intensity? Stampeder on the field, injured on the far side, and a long field here now for the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. That was a great kick by Rob Maver. Well, and they had no choice on that one. I know people hear me preach all year about returners letting balls in that territory bounce into the end zone. This is a situation where Weston Dressler, and you love a guy like Weston Dressler who understands game situations, he, he can't think about waiting for this one to bounce into the end zone because of what the score is in this ball game a three-point game it's late points haven't been easy to come by obviously you don't want to go down by four when right now a field goal is in value Matt Walter coming off the field getting some assistance Keon Raymond fired up let's go down to the sideline now here's Farhan again yeah guys keep an eye on Keon Raymond on the long Western Dressler pass reception before the touchdown he was limping he's still favoring that right ankle which is heavily taped then on the PAT he had the same line as he did earlier when he blocked the PAT but he didn't take it afterwards he came off the trainer had a quick word with him he's gonna go but uh, again if he gets isolated there could be a problem for Calgary thank you Farhan 525 to go boy incumbent on the Rough Riders to move this football Again, they would have to kick into the wind here to give the Stampeders great field position. Arian Durant sends out six. 
Blitz is on. Far sideline. Todd Smith knocked out of bounds. Looks like a first down. Boy, what a first down play from the Rough Riders. Well, we talked about it with the Stampeders earlier in this ballgame. Now the Rough Riders execute against the Blitz. Ball's got to come out quickly. Receivers have to be on the same page. Get their heads around that time. Darian Durant and Tosh Smith dialed in. Three-point game. 11-yard game. First and 10 from the 21. High snap. Durant slings again. And it is caught! Tosh Smith again! What a throw from Darian Durant. And how about Tosh Smith hauling this one in? The Saskatchewan Rough Riders always had Batman and Robin and Weston Dressler and Chris Getzlaff. They were looking for someone to be their number three guy. In this offense, Tash Smith arrived early in the season, came up with a couple big plays, and never let go of that position. Fantastic catch here over the shoulder behind Darius Brooks. You see the reaction by Fred Bennett. What else can we do? Play action, Durant sidearm that time again, trying to go back to Taj Smith for a third time. And the best thing probably for the Rough Riders there was that was incomplete. Darius Brooks, by the way, on the corner today for the Calgary Stampeders because Jamar Wall is out, scratched. So it'll be second down here. Under four and a half to go. This is way out of... Sandra DeAngelis' range here again. Kicking into the gust. They bring the house. Durant almost picked off. God, I think Darian Durant got fooled there. Rod, as it looked like they were going to bring the house, they had about eight men lined up on the line of scrimmage. But a couple of guys dropped out of there. And Dressler initially cut in, went back out because of what he saw. And you see all the guys lined up on the line of scrimmage. Seven guys lined up across. Brandon Smith had an interception in his hands. So now, Ricky Schmidt, first game in the CFL and over and kick. The dangerous Larry Taylor is contained once again. And so now the Stampeders have a long field in the battle of field position here late in this West.